I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Thomas Edison's cylinder phonograph. I come all the way over here to the left, one finger, put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a flat oval. Now right above, I put another dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line all the way over and connect. Coming right down here from the bottom, I draw a straight diagonal down. Come over here, straight diagonal down. At the bottom, I'm just going to draw a baby circle. I come over to the left. I draw a straight line. Jump over. Straight line. Keep going and stop. Right about here, I'm going to draw a curved line straight line, curve line all the way around and connect. Come down to the bottom and draw a straight line over, connect. Inside the space, we're going to draw curve lines all the way across. Keep going and stop. Right here in the center I put a straight line and a rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Come straight down, draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, and connect. I put a curved line underneath that cylinder, straight line, straight line, straight line, curved line, connect. Come right down and put a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, straight line across, and connect. Come up to this corner, straight line down. Right here we're going to draw a baby circle, straight line, straight line, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, baby rectangle at the end. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Now, from this corner, we're going to draw a straight line up, straight line over, straight line, connect. Right here at the corner, straight line down, straight line down, straight diagonal up, connect. Come over here on the left, straight line down, big straight line over, connect. Come back to the left. Curve line, curve line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line, curve line down off the page. Come up, curve line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come right about here, we're just going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line down, straight line over, connect. Straight diagonal, straight diagonal, straight line, connect, straight line down, straight diagonal, connect. Inside, baby circle, baby circle, straight diagonal, straight line down, straight diagonal, connect. Come on the inside, straight diagonal, straight line, straight diagonal, connect. This is Edison Standard Phonograph nineteen oh one. Okay? All right, let's see how we're going to color this scent. Okay, this is pretty easy because it's only three colors. And the reason why is because one, it's a machine, and two, they didn't put a lot of color on their machines. So anything that is brass, like metal, 
I'm going to do yellow. So that's this space, that's the horn up here, that's this space, baby rectangle, these connectors, these are all yellow, which means that in reality they should be brass. Okay? Next, I take brown. And I thought this was really interesting is that this space that I'm doing right here is the top of a carrying case. So that if you want to take your phonograph someplace else outside of your house, you could. So this is the first transportable phonograph that could be played anywhere inside or outside. Next, this is all wood, so that's why it's brown. Now I do the case that is holding all the machinery. And this is all brown. Okay? You'll do a better job than me coloring in. Okay? And this is brown. Now the last part, I'm going to use gray. If you don't have gray, you might want to leave it alone because you don't want to color all of your parts that you just drew. This is the cylinder part that is the recording. This is your information. You don't want to cover that up. Okay? So it's pretty easy as far as the coloring goes. This should be yellow, brass. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, this is Edison's standard phonograph from 1901. And the very first recording he made was of Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay, bye-bye.